Hello everyone. Um, well today I had to do a little bit of impromptu computer repair. Um, my son's Mac Mini is no longer wanting to find the Wi-Fi signal. So I think that something has gone wrong and probably come unplugged. I think the Wi-Fi card or something is either dead or hopefully it's just come unplugged and I can plug it back in. So I have to open this up and I thought that it would be a good process video for you guys to watch. Okay, I've done this once before um, and it's certainly not easy but um, it can be done. And to do it I need these long pins. So, the first thing basically we need to do is all around the edges of this, there are little hooks that hold the metal body here to the plastic. And so we need to use these pins to pull away the hooks from the edges so we can lift out the top. And to do that, we need to slip them in here, and you can feel it catch the hook, and you just push it in. And we need to do that all the way around the outside. Some Macs are very easy to get into, like my Mac Pro. Um, you just lift the latch and the whole side comes apart. And you have access to the whole thing. But other Macs are not as easy to get into. And I don't think there's one on this side. I don't feel it. But that doesn't mean they're impossible to get into. It just takes a little bit of ingenuity. Oops. You have to find that little clasp in there. There we go. I had to uh, open this up the last time to uh, replace the hard drive. Oops, that one's all bent up. That's not good. Um, this Mac is a probably about, I don't know, five years old. hard drive was just not working very well at all. It wasn't booting up. So I had to put in a new hard drive. And once I discovered how to do this, it went pretty well. It was kind of tricky initially learning how to do it. Okay. I think there's one more here somewhere. There we go. We'll do that one from that side. And I think there's some along the front, but I'm not sure. Let's see. It's just along the sides. 
So now comes the moment of truth. <laughs> Will this actually come off? Okay. So how you do this is you need to pull from this direction. I have my knife here. I can loosen some of these. Sounds horrible. Not very relaxing at all. But there you go. And so basically, you can see all these little hooks here that were holding it in. And each pin just pushed it away enough that I was able to release it. Now I can take these out because I don't need them anymore. First time I did this, so it took me forever to figure out where these little things were and how to get the pins in. I was fishing around in there for I think like a half hour trying to find it. Okay, so now I won't stick myself. One of these is the Wi-Fi. I think it's either this or this. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to look up online and make sure I know exactly what um, component it is. So this is the Wi-Fi card. So this is what I need to check out. And it has a wire that comes all the way around and disappears under this thing. So I have to remove this so that I can see how this is attached. And hopefully I'll find it unplugged and I'll just have to plug it back in. So first thing I have to do is remove some screws to get this off. I think that's all. Let's see if there's one on this side. Yeah. So. I should be able to lift this off, theoretically. Just make sure I do it carefully. Now we can see that this comes down 
the wires plug in right here. This wire. I apologize for the noise. My um, neighbor is cleaning out his motorboat engine and he has it submerged in a tub of water and he is revving the engine. So that's what that sputtering revving noise is. So, okay. over here so I can see this. Okay. Well, both of these look like they're plugged in. And that's unfortunate. I was hoping one would be loose and I could just snap it back in. But... seem to be fine. So that just means that this thing itself is probably shot. Or this card here is shot. In either case, it probably costs more to replace it than to get a new one. I don't know yet. I have to check. Well, the rest of the computer works fine. It just doesn't have internet access. And um, for a teenager, that's a fate worse than death, right? So, I will um, put this back together and deliver the bad news to him. Although, I don't know how bad it would be if it means that he gets a new computer. Terrible noise, isn't it? There we go. Just be patient with it at all. Settle itself down. Okay. Put these screws back in. Maybe in some magical world that has fixed it. <laughs> Although I highly doubt it. Um, so we have to put another piece of tape here. Where did this go? This switch here didn't. We'll see how well that goes. Theoretically, we should just have to um, repeat our steps backwards, right? Okay.
careful with this. I don't want to break any more. Oh, it certainly sounds like I am, isn't it? Those are just those hooks catching here. That's a much more gentle way to do it. Okay. For some reason, that's not matching up there. Well, I did finally get it to um, snap on and close. So I wanted to show you that. Um, thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be making more videos. Um, you never know what you'll find. <laughs> it may be a computer repair video. Although there wasn't very much repair going on in this video. It was mostly just checking it out. So I've got to decide whether I want to have Apple look at this and see if they can test it out. Um, see if, what it would cost to get Wi-Fi back on this computer. And then decide if we just want to keep it anyway or eventually get a new one. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for watching.